Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to see what is the most affordable and best option to work with an LLM and code with an LLM. So lately there are a lot of uh, AI applications and plans that have been released and uh, in this video we're going to see a good option that will allow you to work with an AI in Visual Studio Code, in CLI, in uh, in a chat and also in Z. So you have multiple options that can be used. Also, you can work it in cloud and you have like uh, with $10, you will have uh, 300 premium requests and unlimited charge fifty five mini requests. And uh, the plan that I'm talking about, it's the one from uh, GitHub Copilot. So GitHub Copilot, I think it's the first one that uh, created an extension for VS Code that it will help you work with an AI and they are not because they are mostly using VS Code. But in this uh, video, we're going to see how we can use it also in Z. Z is another ID built in Rust, which is very powerful and very fast. I'm using it uh, mostly and uh, right now it has also a Windows version. So this is the website and in here you will find the details. And in here, for instance, you see that you have also free options that you can use. So you can uh, also register for free option and use this in Z if you want and with other uh, with the other ID. So basically in here you will see, for instance, if you're going to check the plans and pricing, you are going to see that, of course, you have the free option. But the most, uh, let's say, powerful one from my point of view, it's this one that it costs only $10 a month. This is similar what, with what you're seeing in Try, but I think this one is better. So instead of paying $10 for Try, better pay for this. And you have all of these options where you can use it. Of course, you can use it also in Z, it's not listed I see in here. But as you will see in here, you will have these plans. So the $10 a month, I'm also a subscriber in here, you'll see that you will have uh, unlimited chat GPT 5 mini, it will be. And in here you have the options to run with the agent and you have access to 300 requests of premium models. So you can use uh, Cloud uh, 4.5 or ChatGPT 5 codex. It's up to you. And you have this uh, 300 requests. So basically a request it's an, an, um, and thing that you are sending, it will not uh, register the tool calls, it will only register when you are chatting with it. I already used it in Z and it's pretty good. We are going to, to see this. So you have also code completions if you want to use them. And you have a lot of things that can be, can be used. Of course, if you need more credits, you can go higher. But in case, for instance, you need more, they will charge 0.0. .0 for for a request which is uh, very cheap so even if you are uh, remaining without credits you can use this so currently let's let's check these details and the first options that uh, i will show you it's z because z it's a nice id and it's very fast and right now their ai uh, plans are expensive and i think the best options to work right now with this is to use this copilot with Z and this will offer you the best option out there if you want to work with an LLM. And in here, if we go to settings, so basically to have access to this AI panel, you have this in here, agent panel in the right. And in here, for instance, if we're going to go and choose settings, you will gonna see that you will have in here the GitHub Copilot chat. So these are the LLM providers. And in here, when you are not uh, registered, you just um, have the options to log in with your GitHub account and it will prompt you in a browser to put the username and password and then you will be linked to this. And for instance, right now, if we're going to open a new thread, you will have in here the chat GPT details, GitHub Copilot chat. In here you see that you have, for instance, GPT-5 mini, 4.1, 5, 4.0, 0.3 mini, 
Grok Code Fast and the GPT-5 Codex, and then you have the Cloud Sonnet options. So basically, in function of the model that you are using, it will use one credit, for instance, for Cloud Sonnet 4.5, or uh, I don't know, I think it was uh, 0 0.33 for Haiku, for instance, and uh, it will not use anything for ChatGPT Mini. And in here, for instance, I will ask it to uh, what is this project about, just for you to see how it's working. And right now, this will gonna go, and uh, it will. Uh, chat with the LLM and in here you see that you will have also the context so with Z the context is 188k for everything so this is the content that uh, GFAM Copilot is offering and again ChatGPT Mini it's free it will not count from the premium requests so this is only one thing but yeah let's wait for this to finish and you see that uh, this thing is quite fast and right now it provided the details and if you're going to check the previous session i've tried to add the view transitions in here and uh, this one it was with cloud sonnet and in here you see that it did a lot of things and this it's uh, very fast and you can use it with z without a problem and every request doesn't matter the number of tool calls that uh, it does it will count only once if you are using the premium models so yeah i mean this is the first options that you can use with z in case you like z and you want to use a powerful llm with z and don't want to pay um, a lot for ai then you have these options to use this github copilot with z and then Another option that is very powerful, it's with Visual Studio Code. So basically in here in Visual Studio Code, you have the extensions. And in extension, you have, let me search, Copilot. You have GitHub Copilot, which is already installed. And in here, if you're going to click this, you're going to see that you have this interface. In here, and you can go to Settings. Prompt, you can add MCP servers. Again, you can do the same thing with Z. You can add your MCP servers. You can modify things in here. And in here, for instance, you can choose between the agent, ask and edit. You can configure models. So in here, you see that you have access to all the models and you see that these models right now are not uh, costing you anything. So you can use GPT-5 mini for free. Of course, if you abuse this, you have problems, but in here, for instance, if you want to use Haiku, you see that you have only 0.30t from the 300, and the other ones are just one point. And the other thing in here, you can go and, for instance, see your usage, con completion, and things like that. So this is the second option that uh, you can use. Another option that uh, you can use in here, you have access to their interface. So you can go to github.com copilot and in here we have a chat interface. And this in this chat interface and you can add repositories, you can add spaces, files, and you can uh, chat with it. And you can again use the free models in here. So if you are uh, you don't want to pay anything, you can just use it as a chat with ChatGPT 5 mini and you can use this for free without uh, counting from the premium models. But in case you need something more powerful, again, you can choose the premium model from here. And this thing, it's also linked to the internet. So right now, if, for instance, we're going to ask it the uh, latest news on tech. You're gonna see that this is also linked to the internet with Bing, it's using Bing. So you can use this uh, like a chat interface and you will not uh, pay anything in case you're using the models that are doesn't cost you anything. So you have also this option in here. Of course, this is not the most powerful model, ChatGPT Mini, but it does a good job from my point of view. And in here you see that you have the history. So you have something like ChatGPT. In here you have the options to add, again, repository files, upload things. You can use extension in here. And another thing in here that it can be used are the agents. So basically in here, they were gonna use their infrastructure to run uh, the, the 
stairs, they will spin uh, containers and things like that. So I added, I've tried to add the view transition in here. It didn't went to, too good. But in here, you see that I've uh, choose my repository and I told it to add the view transitions to my Astro. And it tried to do that. But the good part of this is the fact that they installed also also MCP servers to test the details and at the end after the code was changed they also deployed this on Cloudflare pages so at the end you will have also a working uh, option so you can see if the implementation is working directly in Cloudflare pages so this is not working properly so it, they didn't modify they didn't modify it properly so yeah this still has problems, but you have also these options. The problem with this option is the fact that they're gonna charge you for GitHub actions in here. So for this, I was charged like 50 cents. It didn't consume, I mean, it put the price from my premium models and 10 cents for the GitHub action in here. And at the end, you're gonna see the modifications, things added, things removed. So you can also play it uh, like this, you can create also spaces. So yeah, I mean, this is the third way that <laughs> can be used with uh, Copilot. And you have also another way. If we're going to check the Copilot in here, let's see where it is. Okay. You have the options to use the Copilot CLI. So basically they have also a CLI with this that can be easily installed. With only on one command, you're gonna use the install now and you're gonna need to run this npm and then when you will gonna open this like this so i have it installed in here you will have the copilot like this okay and in here you will have the copilot in terminal and in here if you're going to check the models You'll have the list and in here you see that you have only the premium model in here you can add mcps and things like that so if the plan is to work with the cli who are you just asking it something if the um, the plan is to have also a working cli with the powerful models you can use also github copilot cli with this so this is the fourth option, I think, that can be used, or fifth option, if you're counting the agents. And the right now, if we're going to check, for instance, and check the usage and things like that, let me see. So in here, under the copilot and futures, for instance, to have access in Z to all the models, you need to go in here, in copilot futures. And in here, you see that uh, to work with the CLI, you need to have this enabled right now this it's enabled in here and the other thing compiled with chat okay mobile if you want to have the web search functionality added so the ai to be connected to the internet you need to go in here compiler can search the web to and activate this and in here you have the models that you can enable and disable so if you have them disabled in here they will not pop up in z and you need to go and enable it everywhere in here so if you want to use the codex you need to go and use enable it everywhere and yeah i mean these are the future things of this and in here if we're going to billing and we're going to check the premium request analyze you're gonna see that for instance yesterday when i've had tried to add this view transition thing in astro that it didn't work so you see that uh, coding agent model they uh, they charge me like this coding engine model and the cloud sonnet 4.5 so the uh, it has been like 11 request with the agent model but of course they are not uh, they are not counting anywhere because you don't pay they are included but for what you are paying it will be that uh, github action things that you have in there and in here you have the include premium request consumed 
and in here we have the plan so yeah I mean these are the details and in here we have been percent in the futures coding agent okay here is the repository access so you can add MC mcps to this to just to recap everywhere what you are getting in this ten dollars plan that can easily replace try from my point of view because this is better so you have the options to use it in ZID, which is a very powerful uh, ID. You have the option to use it in VS Code with the extension. You have the chat option that uh, can be used and chat with a free model like ChatGPT Mini, add files and things like that. You have the CLI option that can be used and you have also the agents, options that can be started from the UI remotely, so you don't need to be connected, let's say, to uh, VS Code or anything like that. They will, they will use their infra and it will work behind the scenes and at the end it will go and, uh, and provide you the updated code. So again, yeah, this is, from my point of view, the most powerful uh, combo that you can have right now if you are trying to code with uh, AI and uh, need access to a powerful uh, model and also generous free limits. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a comment uh, below in case uh, you have like uh, opinions if in case you are using this. So everyone to know. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.